So today I'm talking about a Chevy 5.7 Vortec that has no spark and what you can do to troubleshoot and fix it. What are some common causes and fixes? And I'm gonna put links down below for everything that I'm looking at here. But the first thing you wanna look at is you wanna look at the fuses and look for anything that says like ECM on it and sometimes sensor, but uh, mainly look for anything that says ECM because if the ECM, the onboard computer is not getting any power, then it won't get no spark. And this is usually inside the, uh, the engine compartment underneath the hood, but it could possibly be underneath the dashboard too. But basically be sure that uh, there's no blown fuses for any of, for the ECM or for anything that says sensor on it. So number one, fuses. Next up is the crankshaft position sensor. If this goes bad, then it won't, it won't be able to get any spark. Keep in mind if there's something wrong with the wiring, then it can also have the same problem. Bad wiring can have the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So be sure to check the wiring along with the sensor. Next up is the camshaft position sensor which reports back to the onboard computer, the location of the camshaft so that it can get timing right. And if, if this is not working, then it won't get no spark. Yep. Be sure to check the wiring also. Wiring can be an issue sometimes. But the camshaft position sensor, this is the common one in these Chevys. It, it, it'll be located in the distributor underneath the rotor cap on the 5.7 Vortec. So be sure to check that. If nothing else, check the wiring. A lot of people will just go ahead and replace this because it's a low cost part. Number three on the list, camshaft position sensor. And next on the list is the coil. Of course, the coil can go bad, and but keep in mind, like anything, the wiring can also go bad. The harness, be sure to check that. Be sure to check the, the coil wire coming out and going to the distributor and be sure that it's good also. And be sure to check all that wiring. And if all that wiring checks out real good and everything else on this list is checked out good, then it could possibly be a bad coil. So number four, bad coil. And next up is the ignition control module. And these don't usually go bad, but they can in some rare cases. So it's, a, it's good to keep in mind that they can go bad. And so check the wiring. And if you check everything else and you can't figure it out, check the engine control module and possibly replace it. Next up is the rotor. If the rotor goes bad, then it's not going to be able to get any spark out to the spark plugs. So be sure to check it out real good. Quite often this right here in the center will be black and sometimes it can just be cleaned up, but most people will go ahead and replace it. So number six, rotor. And number seven, which is very close to the rotor is the distributor. Be sure it has no cracks in it. Be sure it looks good. And if, and if in doubt, replace it. Number seven, distributor. And last on the list is spark plug wires. Of course, this usually isn't a problem. Usually they'll just cause an engine to run bad. At least one spark plug would be working, but, but they can't cause problems. So if in doubt, it's best just to replace them and get all new spark plug wires. So number eight, spark plug wires. So that's basically it. I just wanted to do a real quick list on uh, a Chevy 5.7 Vortec engine that if you're not getting no spark, the main causes and fixes of why that could be. If you have anything to add, please, comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.